First of all, what's up, Jeff? How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, Jake. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, so, Jeff, <laughs> fill everybody listening or watching in on what Visor is. Yeah, we'll do. Thanks for the opportunity. First of all, it's a pleasure to join you and uh, uh, and chat with your audience and your followers. So, yeah, Visor. It's a a Chromebook management solution. Ultimately, it's it's uh, it's based on um, coming from a legacy of enterprise level IT asset management, but um, over the last 10 years, a, a bit of a transition to focus on the education space and specifically mm. K-12. So it's we, we call it Chromebook management because that obviously represents the largest majority uh, or the majority of uh, the assets that are being used by students within uh, the K-12 space. And so that's why we call it that. That's our primary focus, certainly, but we can leverage Visor to track and manage IT assets, student-held devices, essentially, of all kinds. So primary population is Chromebooks. Um, but there certainly are other uh, devices like iPads and things that are being uh, that are being tracked and managed with Visor. Um, it's designed specifically for, uh, for for the education space, as I mentioned. It also contains a repair management portion. So when you're talking about the management of IT assets and Chromebooks specifically, there's a whole side of that world that is focused on the uh, repair management. So mm. not losing track of those Chromebook, uh, Chromebook devices when you're in a repair mode as well. Kids are going to break these devices. Yeah. That's just the way of the world. Jay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I know. And I think everybody listening knows about that yeah. part for for sure. So I like yeah. he hearing that it's it's for any kind of device. So if I have a school that's running on Apple IIs, everybody has their own Apple II. I don't know how that's working out. <laughs> we could we could certainly manage it there. Maybe we have old Palm Pilots or something like that. We could manage them there on there because it's all... It's all barcode management essentially right so so it doesn't matter a whole lot what the device is is that accurate that is accurate i mean we do have a very strong partnership and uh, official partnership status in fact with google for education nice. so uh, but yeah ipads apple uh, any ios so uh, macbooks or ipads and yeah. windows machines and surfaces tablets all sorts of different things Nice. So I, I know, you know, in my old role, I was a technology integration specialist and my school was one to one with Chromebooks and I had to manage where all those devices were. Like I had to give them to the kids at the beginning of the year when they came in for repairs. I wasn't the guy repairing them, but I was the middleman between the student and mm -hmm. the IT person who was doing the repairs. And I had to give the student the loaner. And then when the new one came in, I had to get that loaner back. And sometimes that loaner got broken. So the loaner had to go off for repair. And so the kid was on like loaner number two while loaner number one was being repaired and and computer number one was being repaired. And then at the end of the year, we might have a student who had damaged accidentally <laughs> five different devices. And it was hard to keep a paper trail doing all of that. Like I used a spreadsheet and emails and all of the things. And it was difficult and it was headache inducing. Um, can Visor help with that? <laughs> yeah, no question. You, you've outlined some very, very typical use cases and definitely hitting on the points um, that really kind of led to Visor in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the the pace with which districts can lose ha a handle on their Chromebook estate or device estate yeah. is is just very, very, very fast, right? <laughs> right? So you can quickly and easily get away from being able to track and manage each asset throughout its entire life cycle. So Visor does step in right there. So it not only reduces the gaps in process um, mm. that would uh, allow for Chromebooks to go missing, but it also automates a lot of those processes. So we're saving time for the text. Um, that middleman uh, middle position that you referred to for yourself in terms of your own experience, there's other levels of even middle middle people, right? Like so from the student, then the teacher or media, special right. li media specialist, librarian, technology team, outsourced service providers. There's lots of different gaps there, right, where Chromebooks can fall through and get lost and providing an ease of management, um, you know, for those technologists, whether they're actual technologists or educators that became technologists, which is very common as well. So these are the types of people, um, ultimately, the advisor is there to help. Let them get back to doing what they do, remove those sort of manual steps and this kind of tedious processes uh, involved with the management of the devices, uh, the repair of those devices. Every step in the life cycle of a Chromebook is it can be uh, an, a space or a gap in which a Chromebook can get lost or any device can get lost. So Visor really looks to lock that down, Jake. 
Yeah. Gosh, I needed that. Cause I, I was often in that role thinking like, I'm here to support the learning that's happening. I'm here to help the educators right. do things in their classroom to enhance student learning. And I'm spending mo so much time trying to figure out who has which computer, which yeah. computer is still out for repair, which computer is still under warranty, which, how is this repair being funded? Um, is there a barcode on there? Uh, what's, what's the ownership of this device? Where, where did that device go? When have we last seen that device? And, and it, I, I was trying to invent my own system for doing that. And it's, it's great that it exists now. I wish I could turn back time and have it back then for sure. Yeah, I mean, that you're, you're hitting again on some key points. There's lots of different threads that I could pull out there. But the cool one for me is the idea of students getting to be students very quickly mm -hmm. and librarians or media specialists or teachers getting to be themselves very quickly. And with Visor, checking out a device, like one of the cool things, uh, just a quick use case for you, if you don't mind, that if a student has a Chromebook device that we've checked out through Visor, Visor moves it from the inventory OU to that grade level OU, right? So that student's OU, depending on the OU structure of an individual district. But if the structure is grade level, then that's the OU that it would be moved to. Nice. If that student brings that Chromebook back because they've damaged it, somebody spilt water on it, all they have to do is bring it to the librarian or the teacher, media specialist, technologist, whoever. They grab a new one, scan it, and give it to the student, and the student gives them the one dripping water. They scan it, and that's it. So from the perspective of the student and the resource in this case, they both get to go back instantly to doing what they were doing. The mm -hmm. reason for this is that Visor is going to move the Chromebook that's now in the student's hands to the appropriate OU. It's going to pick up all the attributes of the, cro the, the, the Chromebook that's dripping water and place it on the one that the students just walked away with so mm -hmm. that they can get back to being a student instantly. All of the protections wow. and policies of the OU are going to be in place on that new device because Visor's automatically updating the Google Admin Console. I love that one because, like I say, it and then wow. the teacher gets back to being a teacher, right? Yeah. You don't have to worry about being distracted. And what is this Chromebook here that's dripping water? I don't know the story. No, it's all in Visor. Like you said, you scan the asset tag, Visor is going to tell you everything you need to know about that device. Is it under warranty? Um, is it uh, who who submitted it? Where was it when it was uh, when when it, you know who was responsible for it tripping? Well, all that information is going to be on that device. So anyway, oh, there that's it is. huge. Cool. Oh that yeah. Stuff. So track. So so not only tracking the device itself, but what happened to the device. So so that if there are whether we agree with them or not, some kind of consequences that need to be taken into place or whether we need to look at a student's history with the device, that's all tracked in there too so that we can see that that's cool. And I love, mm -hmm. you mentioned moving an OU. So you're saying that Visor is communicating directly with Google Admin Console, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. It's a bi-directional communication, right? So not only is Visor being updated with information from the Google Admin Console, but Visor is also speaking back to the Google Admin Console. So in this way, you're able to delegate kind of administrative tasks in the Google Admin Console to mm -hmm. like a teacher who wouldn't know what the Google Console, actually right. shouldn't know what the Google Admin Console is, <laughs> yes. right? Like you never <laughs> want to get a teacher or hey, that's just, a, you know, pull your hair out type stuff. Right. So um, yeah, there it is. That's really cool because you can't teach that teacher like, okay, we're just going to get you into the Google Admin Console and teach you how to change what OU that device is in, right? right. But, yeah. but, but they can easily scan a barcode and type in a sentence about what happened or whatever it might be and let that stuff be automated. That, that's huge. That, that's what we want technology to do for us, right? Is yeah. make those things easier so we can focus on what's important. So how do they go from these lengthy spreadsheets recording what kids have what devices and what's happened on a device over a history of years of that device being owned by the district to let's say they wanted to move into Visor? How do they make that move? That sounds like a lot of hand typing of details that's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, it's a great question. But no, uh, a lot of that process, in fact, all of the process that you just defined is is automated. So we have integrations with all sorts of different sort of partnerships and tools and solutions. But the primary one, of course, Google Admin Console, but also any student information system. Hmm. So we're pulling student information system, uh, we're pulling student information in from whatever student information system is in place at the district. Um, so we have that information inside of Visor. We've got financial information inside of Visor. But one of the most popular sources of data for Visor certainly at the outset, are Google Sheets, right? Or spreadsheets of, of any kind. Oh. So any structured data format um, that contains data that's important for the decision-making process for people whose responsibility is to decide about management of these assets can be pulled into Visor. And that's part of our implementation package. It's something that we do for each one of the districts that we onboard. It's amazing. Like like, like I said, I want to turn back time and and, and be able to use this in my That's my not something job. Visor can do, unfortunately. <laughs> right. It's not a time can you, machine. We're working can you on work it. on that? Yes, thank you. Yeah, we're working um, on it. <laughs> last thing I, I want to ask about, does Visor offer demos of, of how this program works? 
Yeah, we do. In fact, one of uh, our team members will be uh, available uh, uh, for scheduling for these demos. Um, your listeners can actually go to uh, a specific URL, um, visor.cloud, that's V-I-Z-O-R dot cloud slash Jake. Um, and I believe that they've got... Uh, Prize oh, we, that we're going to be giving away. Yeah, we got a little prize. If you do one of those no, no obligation demos, uh, you'll get a free signed copy of my book, Educational Duct Tape. So you get to learn more about the tool and get a free book in the process too. So that's a win-win right there. Don't you think, Chef? Yes, I love that. Yeah. And anybody that does sign up too, I know that we've got promotional offers beyond that um, as well for in terms of timing and first year contract discounts that we can sp uh, discuss specifically with uh, those users. But um, there it is. Yeah, I'd love I, one of my favorite things about what I do is discussing these things and learning more about other districts. So anybody that wants to come and join us, um, you get to hear about Visor, but you also get a very cool book. Uh, nice. Are you going to sign them, Jake? Sign those. Oh, they're the they're already signed and ready, oh, and nice. I've already even drawn a piece, a roll of duct tape in the in my signature too. So they're ready to oh, go. I love it. <laughs> nice. yeah. Well, thanks so much for being here, Jeff. I hope a lot of people are going to reach out uh, and check out that link and and do a demo to hear more about it. I hope so too, Jake. And thanks so much for your time. It's great speaking with you as always. Thank you. Thank you.